Visakhapatnam, the city of destiny, is among the most famous beach holiday destinations on the eastern coast of India. The city's pristine beaches draw thousands of tourists from all over the country round the year. The city's economy, although not entirely dependent on tourism, earns a handsome share from it. Preserving Vishakapatnam's natural assets, therefore, is important. However, this fact is being largely ignored by those whose future is intricately linked with that of the city. The Ramakrishna Beach, the most popular of all the beaches in the city, is in peril. The amount of garbage that accumulates here on a daily basis is mind-boggling. Take a walk along the beach and you will feel as if you are walking on a dumping ground. But this is not the only factor that is contributing to the decline of the beaches. Over the past decade, many hotels, restaurants and recreation centers have come up along the beach road to cater to the growing volume of tourists in the city. This rapid development has wreaked havoc on the delicate marine ecosystem of the region and in the bargain changed the face of Vishakhapatnam's coastline for worse. Tourists and other visitors who throng the beach are equally responsible along with the city administration for protecting the sanctity of the beach. Indiscriminate littering spoils the serenity of the beach. Leftover food items that lie scattered attract canines and scavenger birds, disturbing the calm and peace of the seaside. Remnants of religious festivals rot on the beach for days after the immersion ceremonies are over.
nearly 30 years ago, playful bottlenose dolphins were among the plethora of sea creatures that used to happily cover and thrive in the waters of the city's coast. Today, this mammal, along with the olive ridley turtle, is among the over 21 species, including the whale shark, pristis fish, and the local variety of hilsa, that are vanishing at an alarming rate from Vishakapatnam's waters and are now staring at an extinction. The other major menace that is spoiling the Ramakrishna beach is the open drains that dump the city's sewerage into the sea. The stench near these drains is unbearable. Exposure to this filth is no doubt harmful.
this indifference is shocking Nestled among the hills of the Eastern Ghats, the city has a population of over 2 million people, home to several state-owned heavy industries and a steel plant. It is one of India's largest seaports and has the country's oldest shipyard. In the year 2007, Vishakhapatnam was listed in the top 100 of the fastest growing cities of the world. More development means more influx of people, more cars, more tourists and ultimately more pollution. The question remains whether the city is ready to tackle this.
pollution is a scourge that threatens the existence of life on this planet. Our survival depends on whether we change ourselves in becoming responsible in our conduct towards Mother Earth, whether we take a pause to think before throwing empty plastic bottles on the beach or dumping untreated effluents into the sea. And if we don't, not only the beach but the future of every living creature on the planet is doomed. It is entirely up to us whether we want to breathe fresh air into our lungs or the rotten scent emanating from the carcass of sea creatures while taking a stroll on the beach. <laughs>